Hey guys, and welcome back to Stay Inspired. Now, I'm aware I've been away for a very long time, so basically what's happened is... <laughs> the time we got all the Marmite out of the inside of the balloons, the little baby drop was fine. No, I'm kidding, of course. Um, basically, what's happened is over the last few weeks, I got hit by a bit of a super bug and completely lost my ability to speak, which meant I couldn't do any voiceovers or like these sorts of videos. And um, I just sort of fell out of the habit a little bit. Although I did have a little bit of commission work to be doing, which was really exciting and felt like a great step forward. Uh, but now I'm back and I'm ready to continue where we left off. So this video has way, 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 way overdue. It was actually a request from my little brother Hugo, um, who asked uh, specifically if he could see a picture of Charizard versus Mankey, the Pokemon. So, of course, I'm happy to oblige, and this is what happened. When it came to drawing this picture, I really needed to decide uh, what sort of style I wanted to go for. It would have been far too easy to just copy that typical cartoony Pokemon style. So especially with Charizard, I decided to take a more gritty, realistic edge. So after my first attempt, I decided to go and take reference from um, T-Rex, as I thought this would be uh, probably closest to what Charizard might look like if it were a real creature. I added things like the antlers and a couple of the scales to make him, well, flesh him out as, a, as an actual uh, animal. Make him look really ferocious and huge and powerful, like you might expect a dragon to be. Uh, Mankey uh, kept rather cartoony, uh, more for that element, or that humorous element that there's this huge scary monster facing off against this tiny, timid, cutesy little character. The colouring was done similarly to how I've uh, painted in my last uh, few videos, except I took uh, the detail to a different sort of level, um, shading with the lights and the darks and the mid-tones uh, really going over every little area making every uh, vein and scale really pop just so you could uh, get a more realistic effect. As soon as it came to painting in the lighter tones, I was already uh, happy with how the piece was shaping up. You get a sort of a feeling for the direction the uh, piece is going in, and I knew that I'd made the right choice. I actually, at this point, uh, made a new brush, um, specifically for Charizard, uh, using a blank canvas and out of sort of textured dots, I was able to create a new brush, which I was then able to paint with. Um, making the brush a lot smaller and just painting over the skin so it looked like he had lots of uh, small scales all over his skin. I really took the time to go in every single nook and cranny in the gums and the teeth uh, by the nostrils, just really filling in those extra details to make this thing seem really large and really, really realistic. I 
I did have to go back at one point and shave some of the top of the nose off. As, as a character, he was looking too dinosaur-y, <laughs> I guess. And uh, to bring it more back to that sort of dragon aesthetic, I turned it into more of a snatch. When it came to colouring Mankey, it just seemed like a child's play after all the effort that went into Charizard. But I did use um, a similar technique again by turning a simple brush stroke into a new brush. I was able to fill in his body with uh, hairs and make him look sort of furry. Again, with Mankey being more in the cartoony spectrum, I didn't have to worry about uh, really specific details as much. But then after that, it was just a case of adding in the details and creating the actual scene for them to be fighting in. So there was a sort of a concrete uh, platform that they were obviously fighting on. Uh, added in a crowd at one point, uh, just nice grass background. Anyone who's uh, played Pokemon games or maybe seen the show already has an idea of, of the sort of background I was trying to go for. Just adding more of a story to what's going on in the final piece. And then it was just a case of filling in some of the finer details, such as the fire coming out of Charizard's mouth, some of the, the lighting and uh, shadows on the characters, just to make the whole piece pop a little bit more. And I was quite happy with the final result. Okay guys, so that was the final picture. I was actually really happy with how it turned out. I think going for um, a kind of a realistic style with Charizard really sort of paid off in the end. It was a really cool uh, look for him as a dragon. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And until next time, stay inspired. <laughs>